looks like the way they're doing is they're only letting certain people, um, a certain number of people uh, in the store. And uh, yeah, there's a long line. There's more. There's more people. There's more ladies out there looking for a 50% sale than um, protesters. So um, basically, we're not. Good, um, YT. This is your girl, Kendra D. And I'm coming to you just to talk about one of the most shameful displays that I have seen in quite some time. The snippet that you watched prior to me talking is a viral video that I just watched earlier today of what started with the Asian man punching the black lady in the face in front of the beauty supply store which is you know it's been a, a spate of that as of late um, and so about two weeks later a group of black men we're protesting that store. Um, these were apparently local neighborhood black men who decided that some action needed to be taken. So they went to protest in front of the store. Well, as a countermeasure, the owners of that store decided that they would put a 50% off sale I guess on just bundles or everything in the store I'm not sure what the sale comprised of and really it's irrelevant what it did was undercut the protest because these female heathens decided that the 50% off sale was more important than being on code with the brothers who were attempting to speak out on the black woman's behalf. And it was a shameful, shameful, horrendous yet telling display of the pathology of black women as a group because all on YouTube you have these black women who claim swear down up and down that the black man never protects his woman he never speaks out for her he never does anything for her he doesn't do this he doesn't do that etc etc and black men have their flaws as a whole but 
here we have a perfect display of black men stepping up to do what a lot of black women claim they never do which is speak up for them protect them you know protect their honor nothing like that and all it took to undercut this effort was for those Asians to put those bundles or whatever half off that's all it took and then you had one chick not only was she stupid enough to be standing in a line a line niggas love a line y'all ever notice that shit niggas love standing in a goddamn line but anyway not only was she selling her self-worth and dignity for half off by standing in that damn line she had the unmitigated gall the audacity to walk over with hostility to those black men and like I guess cuss them out or whatever she called herself doing I couldn't even understand what she was saying but it doesn't matter what she was saying the fact that she was saying anything at all the fact that she was even present to stand in the line all of them females should not have even been there but if you're gonna be there at least hold your head down and shut your ass up and this is why black people ain't gonna make it this is why the two-thirds policy is in effect this is why because all of them bitches is in the two-thirds because you can't keep on you can't keep cold you can't keep cold for any amount of time this goes back to a earlier video I did about a month or two ago about how black women don't stand in no type of solidarity what they mean you want them to go and fight white supremacy okay fine but when they take the first steps in protection of you because these men don't go to the beauty supply store I can count on one hand how many times I've seen a man in a beauty supply store and when I did see him in there he was doing something like buying some clippers or something you know something like that but these beauty supply stores are geared towards females so they got all them bundles in there and this and that you know what I'm saying so he's taken up for you because he doesn't frequent those stores black men can do just fine without beauty supply stores it's you you wench that can't that can't seem to go a week or two without going to that beauty supply store at the least you could have done was not go to that beauty supply store that day that's the very least you could have done but you made a public display of defying your man collectively a collective of black men were there to protest uh these men these other group of men coming in and disrespecting his woman like you claim you want him to do and when he did it you made a point to undercut him because they were having a sale and so that don't strike you as a game well this protest is gonna cut our walk in traffic and cut our money so what we'll do we know these stupid bitches about this shit anyway so what we're gonna do is the same time they running a protest we'll run a sale and have these stupid bitches coming in here anyway and that's exactly what the fuck y'all did they played you like a fucking fiddle so because it's exactly what the fuck you did you made a public fucking display of being off fucking code this was like the most off code shit ever that you could possibly done in the public eye then had the audacity to be arguing and shit 
Then you wonder why black men be talking about, well, fuck you then. We'll just leave you where you at. Then you wonder why the two-thirds policy apply to you bitches too. Because you all fucking cold. If we were to ever do anything, you bitches couldn't be included. You couldn't because you can't, you could not be on code for a one day. God damn it. At least that day, if you, if you slunk in there the next morning with a cap on and some damn sunglasses incognito, at least that day don't go in there. At least don't let you be caught on camera going in there. But you bitches were standing in a line to get into that beauty supply store that was a crying fucking shame a crying fucking shame black men don't protect us they ain't fighting white supremacy you when they do you come stab in the back you don't give a fuck whether he fight it or not you want your cake and eat it too you want him to fight it and you want to be able to wallow in white supremacy all at the same motherfucking time now these are the same motherfuckers molly whopping your ass when you come into a store and you will go back in there to patronize this fucking business rather than run the motherfuckers out of business because he didn't snatch you up because he didn't pop you in your fucking face so you don't give a fuck what happened to your sisters either because it happened to her and it didn't happen to you so you don't give a shit and this is why we'll never make it because we don't even think as a monolith on shit like this this was not a time for you to exercise your individual right to go into a store and buy something this was the time if niggas had a thought like you back in the civil war I mean not civil war the civil rights movement nothing would ever got fucking done now a lot of people shit on the civil rights movement and say well it was the, and i get that part but i'm making a point here if niggas hadn't had solidarity on that bus boycott the shit would have never changed which personally i would have never got on the fucking bus fuck that bus we was making it without the goddamn bus but you niggas is just you niggas is incorrigible. You incorrigible. You just you irredeemable. Y'all some irredeemable bitches. You really you know that? Do you really know that? Do you really know that? That you are just irredeemable. I have never witnessed such off code shit in my life to just blatantly you off code anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this video uh what i would like to do is say thank you to my subscribers i'm finally over a thousand so thank you very very much for that for that support um speaking of support as usual my paypal and my patreon link are in the description box so feel free to contribute to the channel if you find this content useful or at least mildly entertaining. All right. Uh, check y'all out. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to my Fish Grease Live channel. I'm going to put that link in the description too. Because as you know, I'm suspended from live on this channel. So, you know, I'm not going to go three months and not do a live show. So uh, go ahead over there subscribe to it so you can get the notification when i do go live i usually go live um at least once a weekend maybe a friday or saturday all right all right talk to you later